Hello there, Capricorns. Welcome to your reading. So when I was meditating on this month's reading for you, I was focusing on, you know, in particular, what you need to know to navigate the energies for this month. And um, the first thing I saw was, it's really interesting. It's a cartoon scene. And um, I don't know if um, those of you who are watching this are like uh, gamers, but it's a, um, the, it's a Nintendo video games with Mario, okay? And what you see is this kind of like a, um, a two-dimensional surface. So, you know, the, the cartoon character just goes, he jumps over like, um, I guess, monsters in the game. He tries to dodge whatever they're throwing at him. And every time he touches um, one of the creatures in the game, he turns a little bit translucent and then he gets smaller in size, right? And then when he gets too small, then he dies. So that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing him getting scraped, getting touched by these monsters, and then he gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And then all of a sudden, there's that magic mushroom. Like he, he hits a block, the magic mushroom runs down, he catches it, and then he gets bigger. And I feel like this scene in particular is talks a lot about your self-esteem as of late. Your self-esteem, your ability to feel competent and confident uh, walking in your own skin, walking in your own shoes, and just being able to manage um, your everyday activities. So I feel like, you know, life is more like, recently has been a little bit more like a, an obstacle course, okay? It seems like there might have been pitfalls, temptation, dangers around every corner, and you kind of have to um, dodge these events or you have to anticipate for these events jump over hurdles and dodge and evade people that might not be good for you kind of like you're in that game you're navigating your environment and you're trying to you know just uh, stay in the clear and then there are also blessings you know where those blessings come from and i feel like you know with that um the, the mushrooms are hidden inside those blocks right and I apologize if this analogy is totally lost on, on those of you who don't play video games. But um, you know that some things are hidden, some blessings are hidden. In, in it, For example, like the mushroom is hidden inside the block and so you have to stand under it. You jump up and you knock the block and then the mushroom comes out. And it doesn't come out and stay there, it, it runs, like it moves. So you have to catch it and you have to catch up to it in order to attain it, okay? Um, so that, that's the first thing I feel and I feel like that speaks a lot to your self-esteem to your sense of who you are and to your ability to you know um, successfully navigate your environment um, I see a lot of po like office politics political maneuvering that's required of you and I feel like you know you have to do things with a lot of grace and you have to do things with an, uh, nimble toes okay so like being very very quick on your feet and I also see um, in some day, on some days when you're kind of like out and uh, feeling very low, um, I feel like you have a lot of people in your environment who might be questioning you, who might be, you know, uh, wanting things from you. That's what it feels like with this energy, okay? It's like, give me, give me, give me. Like, that's what it feels like. And I feel... You don't have enough of yourself to give everybody, okay? You're trying to navigate through your own little treacherous journey and you have to keep your wits about you. And you also have to, you know, um, be very hyper vigilant, be very alert and to make sure you don't, you, you're, you're properly navigating your environment. And then I also feel like, you know, whatever has got you down, there's also a lot of blessings in, in, in the form of people coming in your environment and, you know, giving you a word of thanks, okay? Uh, showing you gratitude. And I feel like it really helps build you up. It makes you into a bigger person. And literally, like, makes you into a bigger person. Once he eats the mushroom, he gets bigger. It makes you more confident. It makes you feel like you can conquer the world. And for once, you know, it, like, despite everything you've been through, it makes you feel like you can continue on another day, okay? So life hasn't been, you know, um, a walk in the park. I feel like it, it has been 
laced with its share of challenges, but you're doing it with grace. And I feel like the universe is telling you that things are going to be okay. And especially when we zoom into this month, and I, I say zoom because I feel like the energy is very fast. It's all about momentum, movement, and uh, being quick on the uptake. The other thing I saw um, when I was meditating to... I see this man on a boat, okay, and um, it's it's in open water. It looks like the ocean, even or like a really really big lake, and there's a sunset like in front of him. He's on this boat by himself. Um, he's got like uh, food and snacks, you know. So it seems like he's he's going on for um, on this boat for like a few days, and he's by himself on this boat, and he's singing a, a, a tune like he's humming or whistling. I'm hearing music coming out of him. And he's just going through the motions, like rowing himself, getting to, you know, the uh, out there in the water. And he's really, really content and he's very happy. So the scene is all about movement, but in a way it is very serene. It's almost like this is the month where you reach calmer waters. And this is the month where you start to feel a lot more relaxed, a lot more at peace and a lot more just um, comfortable in your element, okay? Um, navigating the waterways usually indicates an emotional situation that might have been, whatever your emotional state was, you know, February, um, I feel like there is a major, major turnaround, a major change, a major shift for the better because now the energy is a lot less hectic, it is a lot calmer, and it is a lot more conducive for relaxation, um, enjoying your environment, having enough time to take a breather. Many of you could physically be going on a voyage, okay? Um, going on a journey, going on a trip, taking um, some, it's like rest and relaxation. Okay, with this full card and this energy usually brings about like travel movement as well and something where you're really, really excited. You're traveling light and I feel like it's um, it's just rest and relaxation. It's like a trip that's supposed to be very, very soothing for you energetically, emotionally, mentally. So whatever situation you've had to contend with where you feel like you had to defend yourself where you feel like you had to speak up for yourself where you feel like people were not being very emotionally uh rational you were kind of like that calm voice of of reason in the midst of chaos you were the ones that you know lay down the law of the land and you tell told people how things are supposed to be how things are how how things exist in the world and how things are supposed to be and i feel like you were in in some capacity a very vital force in cutting it's like in 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 allowing people to see the truth okay in allowing people to see the truth in a situation or to understand a situation where they have been very very muddled the queen of swords is usually indicative of the exchange of information it, like very logical logic based type of communication it could indicate teaching it could indicate as well like um, you know question and answer where you might be the you you might be in some capacity playing the role of a teacher a mentor a, a guide somebody who is um the audience is bringing you a lot of questions and you're almost like okay bring it on uh tell me what's on your mind tell me tell me what's confusing to you and let me try to make sense of it for you let me try to explain it for you so i see you in this capacity okay you might have been uh, dealing with a lot of this where people came to you very, very confused and you're in some capacity helping them see a situation very clearly from a logical perspective rather than from a muddle or from an emotional perspective. OK, so like cutting through the, 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 the confusion for other people so that other people can as well see a path forward. OK. Um, let me see uh, the other cards that are coming through. I feel like if you're dealing with a, uh, an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, 
Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, I feel like this person is also very instrumental in uh, helping you move up. I'm seeing like upping, upping the ante or leveling up, okay? They're providing you with some type of knowledge, some type of um, information. And I feel like many of you have been in a state of confusion. Um, where, what is my purpose? Where am I headed? What am I trying to do? And I feel like this is a person that's very instrumental in some way in helping you navigate some type of a confusing situation. And as a result of it, I feel like they're able to cut through the confusion for you. They're able to give you guidance and they're able to give you, um, it's almost like long-term vision, you know, long range vision, um, foresight to, to, to help you make a decision. So if you have been in a state where you're making a lot of decisions, you're looking at all the options that are available to you and you're wondering what is the most logical thing for me to do, okay? And you guys are at a point where I feel like um, the luxury of time for some reason is no longer on your side. It's almost like I have to, to pick a career and I have to do it fast. I have to pick a location and I have to do it fast. I have to, you know, um, make decisions at a moment's notice. And one of the things that you're really, really afraid of is, you know, making the wrong decisions, getting pigeonholed into a situation that you don't want to be in. And then I'm also feeling this person is very instrumental in your life in some capacity because they're questioning your choices and your decisions. And they're, they're kind of like making you question and really think deeply and, and truthfully and very honestly about your current trajectory and whether or not that is allowing you to head down a good path. If not, what you can do, what other choices, what are the things that you could grab onto so that you can steer yourself in a space where you are a lot more stable. I'm seeing almost like a crisis that has been averted, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm seeing like um, a situation where somebody is dreaming, fantasizing, and possibly being lured into a situation that has not been well thought out, that might have a very, very faulty foundation, but they're being lured into it in a very innocent way. So it, it's almost like, oh, let's just do it and see what happens later. And that energy typically is not what I would associate with a Capricorn. But I feel many of you are just like, oh, let's just throw it, uh, just throw things at it and see what sticks. And I feel like somebody in your life is kind of like playing the role of the mentor for you, the guide. And they're also telling you, you know, there is danger in doing that because we're expending a lot of energy just throwing things and um, it's like throwing things at the dartboard and see whatever sticks or whatever gets closest to hitting the marks. And it's like, no, we have to do things in a little bit more of a systematic way. And so I feel like somebody is helping you refine your approach. Somebody is helping you kind of like I see a, a circle that's getting smaller. So it's like they're, they're helping you hone in. They're helping you pull your resources, okay? They're helping you with a situation that is a little bit fanciful. There are too many actors, too many elements involved. And they're possibly even showing you, you know, here's a way that we can streamline this. Here's a way that we can delegate responsibilities or here's a way where we can revamp this system that has been very defunct and very, very, very problematic. We can kind of scrap it all together and start building piece by piece, brick by brick from scratch. Okay. So I, I feel like someone that you are heavily communicating with for this month, they have the gift of foresight. They, their, their mind is razor sharp. Their focus is really intense. And I feel almost like they're a major player in getting you to reorganize your life, getting you to get your finances in order as well. 
if for me it seems like this can be a financier this can be a lawyer this could be an attorney this can also be like a tax consultant or even a financial consultant this is somebody that has you know um some type of a professional degree under their belt that allows them to have the skills and the expertise to be able to kind of um people defer to their judgment okay people trust them people defer to their judgment um and they approach a situation in a very very systematic way you're almost like amazed by how well they can see all the elements that are involved and by how well they can see they can plan for they can make like uh, emergency plans or they can, you know, very, very quickly come up with contingency plan. If this is not working, here's how we can fix it. Like they're, they're coming in really, really fast as a problem solver for you. I need a few more cards and I, I, I feel, I feel like this month you just want to chill out and you just want to relax. And I'm sensing uh, somebody is just like not letting you do that, but not in a bad or mean way. I feel like somebody is kind of like in the back of your mind nagging, okay? And I feel like for some of you, this could be a relationship partner that's nagging you. It's like, oh, I told you to do the laundry, you know, uh, a few hours ago when you just want to, like you've had a rough day at work. You just want to go home, watch some TV or, you know, take a little nap. And they're like, I told you to do this. I told you to do that. And I feel like, you might be forgetting things you might just be like oh that's not really important i'm gonna do it in a little bit and they're they're kind of like in the background kind of nagging kind of um nipping at you um you just want to have fun while somebody is so serious and they 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 kind of suck the fun out of it that's what it feels like to me so this queen of swords is coming up in very in in many different capacities for many of you guys see here okay I'm seeing somebody here that you could potentially uh, have children with okay so I have here Queen of Swords and the page of swords kind of like a family unit mother and child or father and child okay because the the cards are not gender specific and uh, what I feel is there might be some type of um, uh, divvying up assets, um, dividing up, you know, like um, it, it's kind of like the end of a separation. There might have been a cycle that's ending between you and another person. OK, we have here the world, which is closing up, closing the loop. Something is closing up. Something is getting ready to kind of like end, um, uh, getting to that stage of completion. And as a result of it, we kind of need to figure out, you know, we, we kind of need to arrange for uh, the next phase. OK, so I feel for many of you in the work environment, um, there might as well be some major final project that's ending. OK, if you are working on a retainer basis or on a contract or on a project basis, I feel like you're getting ready to close up some cycles to end a project, to close up a, a project, to finalize a project. And then it is um, being it's like being reviewed by another person before they pay you the rest of the fees. OK, so it's like they might give you a 50 uh, percent deposit for you to complete this task. And then once you complete it, they assess the, the end result and then they tell you if there's something that needs tweaking or if they're happy with it, then they give you the payout. So I feel like there is going to be a, an ending of a work situation. There is a payout for those of you who have been in a work situation that has been a little bit problematic. Um, I feel like there there might have been some legal issues and now you are closing out that cycle and there's some settlement that's going to be coming into the picture. Financial payout as well. OK, and I feel it is coming from uh, somebody else to you, like financial payout coming as a result of an end of a court situation with the justice card here. And then I also feel for many of you, this might be in a home environment where there might have been separation, divorce and things like that. And I'm also sensing as well, um, things are going to get finalized, wrapped up. I'm seeing like a rock and then like wrapping paper wrapped up and just um, be done with. 
okay so the 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 energy is very very final with this tower card the tower card is really asking you to rebuild and it's really asking you you know let's be honest here what is not working okay what is not working because it was built on a fantasy it was bu built on ideals it was built on a situation that did not have a fault like it, it didn't have a firm or a strong foundation okay it was uh, built with a lot of high hopes and expectation here coming through with the seven of cups we wanted the best for it we had the best expectations we had the best um, intentions when we first started out but at the same time the seven of cups is all about the fantasy and when the fantasy meets the reality this is the reality here this is the wake-up call we realize what's no longer working and then we also realize as well that the energy and the resources that we put into a situation maybe we need to reassess and maybe we need to rebuild elsewhere so i have this energy with the fool trying to trying to take a different path trying to take a different approach starting over okay kind of like that video game if you die you hit reset and you start again but I feel like this is not just that reset. This is about changing games, okay? Putting in a new game cartridge and starting over. Putting in a new disc and starting over. Starting over in a way where I feel like you know what's no longer working and you're moving away from it for good, okay? So many of you are getting new starts. Um, I'm seeing a lot of legal things, okay? So I don't know if it's like uh, talking to an accountant to st sort out your tax situation or I'm also seeing like possibly even investigations, even a lot of um, being under being under some type of a I'm seeing a panel and I, I feel like the, the panel is not just like a, a gaming, a, a panel on a game or a panel on a window. I feel like it might be a panel of people where they're asking you a lot of questions and you have a very limited time to give them responses so I, I feel legal issues I'm also seeing like court case discussions things finalizing okay um, but if it's finance related I feel like the the financial windfall is going to be in your favor and I feel like it's going to help alleviate a lot of the financial um, burdens from you okay there's a relationship here as well that I'm sensing and I feel like the two people have been staying together for the children, okay? I'm drawn to the, the two women in the background uh, pulling on the cradle and there's a child there and they're, they're like, no, this is mine, no, this is mine. So I feel like there has been a situation where the two people are staying together for the sake of the children and um, parenting styles might be very, very different, okay? And I'm also sensing as well, one person is doing a lot of the work in order to shoulder the responsibilities of parenting. The other person um, definitely wants to chip in, wants to carry their weight, but it seems like there are external factors affecting their ability to be emotionally and physically available in this situation. I'm also seeing as well the, the two parenting styles for, for the two people might not mesh well. So you might be like one person might be very strict, like you go to bed at eight. The other person's all like, oh, you know, it, it, just let the kid stay up and, and finish his TV show. So I'm, I'm seeing that like values and parenting styles might be very, very different. And it's creating a lot of confusion with the kids because the kids, you know, their they're, kids are, are a little bit sneaky. They're very intelligent. They're cute, but they're sneaky. They're going to pit one parent against the other. OK, and when they want something, they know to come to the um the 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 stricter parent and say like oh but so and so told me i could do this like they I, I see that element and i feel like then you have to go to the source and ask the other parent whether or not that's true and i feel as if the, the two of you need to be kind of like united okay united together in order to not let the little ones kind of run the household so i'm seeing a, a little bit of a situation here where somebody's working a lot not um it's like the 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 practical responsibilities of the family home life 
is um, it's important, but there's a lot of emphasis on that. Maybe because you know somebody needs to bring home the money and is more concerned about the survival of the unit rather than the the little things like the discipline in the unit. So I, I definitely feel you and the partner has to kind of like be united and very very strong and very uh, strict. Okay, in order to not let this situation kind of uh, unravel because I, I see like there's something in the process of unraveling and if it's unchecked, if it's gone unchecked or if it's left to its own devices, it's not going to have a, a, a very stable or a very good future. So this is the time where we have to do damage control and I know that you guys want to rest a little bit more and you know enjoy your free time and, and things like that but I feel like there's still a lot of responsibilities that others might expect from you okay um the six of pentacles is usually a very very good card that denotes to me you know car like good karma coming back home to roost um all the times that you have expended either teaching somebody guiding somebody mentoring somebody i feel like it's, it's definitely making a huge difference in somebody's life and it's not going unnoticed and all the effort that you put in, you're just like, oh, for you, it might feel like, you know, it's work or it's something that's uh, expected of me. It's my a part of my responsibilities. But I definitely feel many of you are going above and beyond. It's like you're, you're not just going through the motions, doing uh, work just to scrape by. I feel like you're putting in a lot of effort, a lot of energy to shape and mold these people that you're coming into contact with. And as a result of it, you might see an uptick when it comes to your reputation, okay, being well regarded. You might as well see a lot of thanks and appreciation and, and just um, good energy coming back around for you because you've taken your time and you were very diligent in making sure that the other people are learning what they're supposed to learn, making sure that you follow up and making sure that you devote the time and the energy to teach them properly so that they can, you know, do their things and master their skills. And all of these things that you're doing behind the scenes are definitely being noticed, okay? It might feel as if you're under scrutiny at the time. It might feel like people are asking you a lot of questions and it might feel a little bit uncomfortable, like you're under the microscope. But what, what I feel is you've come into your own, you've truly, truly blossomed and you're speaking and teaching and guiding from a space where you've already mastered it. And so you're giving the information back to other people in a total package. You're not just give, giving them bits and pieces or scraps. You're giving them like the whole package. And as a result of it, I feel like they, they, they can benefit a lot from you. Um, I have somebody here, could be this air sign. So Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Somebody wants, I'm hearing like ultimatums, okay? I'm hearing as well, like um, I need more time. Um, and, and it's like, I need more of your time. I need more of your attention. I need more out of this relationship. That's what I'm feeling. And I feel like it's a romantic partner for many of you. And I'm, I'm feeling that they are, I'm feeling that they are feeling either a little bit neglected or they are feeling that you're not in it 100% or they are feeling that you're not 100% committed to them. So whatever, in whatever capacity they're, 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 you're dealing with them. Uh, I'm seeing Libra energy. And the thing about air signs in general is that um, they're not usually very uh, verbal with their emotional needs, okay? They're, they're not usually like going to tell you upfront, like, you know, I, I feel a little bit neglected. Can we spend more time together? Can we do date night? Can we, um, can we, you know, just like spend more time together? Can we get, be more intimate with each other? Um, can we re-inject passion or chemistry back into the relationship? Can we do things so that we can re emotionally reconnect? They're not going to say those things, but when an air sign feels a little bit neglected and I see strong Libran energies here, 
uh, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, but the Libra energy is very strong. Um, when they feel neglected, they don't know how to tell you they need more attention. So they tend to get irritable, okay? They tend to get irritable. They tend to be a little bit nitpicky. They tend to operate more from the shadow side, which is like... Um, where you know they they actually want closeness but they kind of push you away okay and when when you're dealing with an air sign that does that it's because they're resentful it's because they feel neglected it's because um they feel unappreciated so i feel like you you kind of need to pay attention to the body language of this person so not so much what they're saying but you know more so the body language and i feel as well recognizing that these symptoms that you're seeing are symptoms of something a little bit deeper does that make sense so like the the, the nitpicky the 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 um the irritability those are symptomatics uh symptomatics of um something that's a little bit deeper that they're not able to they haven't addressed with you that they're too embarrassed. I feel like it is. it deals more with embarrassment, like not wanting to sound needy, okay? They've got their walls up. Not wanting to sound needy, not wanting to sound desperate, not wanting to give ultimatums, not wanting to, like not even knowing how to express themselves emotionally. And so if you find them being a little bit critical or irritable or just like moody, it's because they feel underappreciated. And I feel like, you know, you, you might be dealing with the situation here, in particular with a Libra. You could also be dealing with one of the fixed signs here. So I have Taurus, Leo, uh, Aquarius. What's the other one? Um, Scorpio. Okay. So I feel like there there's a situation here where if they feel underappreciated or unappreciated in a relationship, they might be contemplating walking away. And once a fixed sign walks away, because they're a fixed sign, it has taken them a long time to arrive at a decision. And once they're very resolute, once they have decided, they're very, very resolute. They, they don't backtrack, they don't come back. So there's a situation here. I feel like you have to do some type of a damage control. You, you kind of need to, um, figure out how to address these issues with this person because I feel like they're kind of clamming up a little bit, okay? So, um, Capricorns, that's what I have for you. It's not the most, it, it's, it's not the most soothing month. I was hoping that it would be, but I feel like many of you have already, um, it's, it's almost like you're coming into calmer waters. It's, it's like you know the solution to something. You know how to fix something. You know what course of action to take. And you might have very, you might have many, many options on the table as well, but you know which path you need to take in order to bring about balance and harmony in a situation that has been contentious. And at the end of it, you're going to come out okay. You're going to come out unscathed, okay? And I also feel as well, if there are people that want to exit the picture, you might want to let them. What I have here is the Five of Swords. It's like too many things have been said. Too many words have been thrown about. And it's a situation where we kind of need to rebuild from scratch, scope out a new territory and, and rebuild there, okay? So I hope that is helpful for you guys. And um, I'll be back in about two weeks time to touch up with you uh, mid-month, okay? Take care.